Like I told you, I never been to any fantasy suites. found your blood at the scene of the crime. You lied to us. Care to revise your statement? Jeez. Come on, man. I didn't kill her. I don't know what happened, okay? Yeah, I took both ladies back to the fantasy suites. We got a room, we got it going on. There's just no way, man, that I could have killed her. Yeah, it was the redhead's idea. She said they was roommates or something. Said they like to share. Like I'm gonna say no to that. Kathy Bird has red hair. Did you hear any names? For the blonde, I didn't, but I think she called the redhead cat. I guess the cat is out of the bag. I'm gonna find Kathy Bird's address. The wedding dress? Oh man, it's stupid. It's like I told the girls I was getting divorced. That's why I was selling my truck and spending all the money. Cause I promise you, I ain't giving that nagging bitch one dime. Anyway, the redhead brought the wedding dress over to the hotel, even got a tux for me. She said they were gonna give me a divorce party I never forget. It was pretty sweet for a while. Yeah, well, it's all fun and games until someone loses their life. It was all going pretty good until I ran out of money, right? Then that redhead bitch tried to kick me out of the damn room that I paid for. And I was like, no way, I'ma get what I got coming. Sure. Cause you earned it, right? That's right, that's what I said. So I stepped to Blondie to see what's up. And yeah, okay, I admit that I had been partaking of some alcoholic beverages and I may have snorted some coke. But red hair bitch get all up in my face first. She's screaming and pushing and punching on me, saying, get out, get out. And I just defended myself. I think I just shoved her back a bit. And then when I turn around to, you know, apologize to Blondie, Boom, lights went out, and I don't remember a damn thing after that. You regained consciousness, and you saw Lynn Bowder lying there in a pool of her own blood. Is it that hard to dial 911? I woke up, I see her lying there, dead. I couldn't remember a damn thing about what happened. I didn't know what was going on. Truth is, I got a record, and all I thought was, who the hell's gonna believe me? Don't worry, Mr. Dominguez. The truth might just set you free. ATM card? I know nothing about that, for real. Like I told you, I never touched that ashtray. Kathy Bird, this is Las Vegas CSI. Open up, please. Yeah? No. Would you mind kissing my ass? You think I'm stupid or something? You think I don't know my rights? You got a warrant? Yeah, I didn't think so. We'll be back, ma'am, with the warrant.
you still here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Just, uh, I'm just thinking, you know, what, what a thing to see. You guys must be used to it, though, huh? That's another piece of broken glass that looks like what was used to stab our Vic. Let's find as many of these broken pieces as we can, and then we'll try to put them back together at the lab. We may be able to get some DNA off that. The assembly table allows you to put together objects that have been disassembled or torn apart. First, select the object you wish to assemble. Then, select a piece of the object and while keeping the button held down, drag the piece until it attaches to another piece. Continue this process until the object is fully assembled. Note that you may not yet have all the pieces you need to fully assemble the object.
Kathy Bird, this is Las Vegas CSI. Open up, please. Yeah? No means no. You're worse than the guys at the club. Yeah. I'm going to need to see some evidence before I go to a judge. You found Kathy Bird's DNA at the crime scene. Means she lied. And that's the probable cause we need to get a warrant to search her apartment. And if we find anything there that ties her to Lynn's murder, we know where to come for the arrest warrant. Bird, we're from the crime lab. We have a warrant to search your apartment. You need to open up. All right, keep your pants on. I'm coming. Now, Miss Bird. Well, if I'd known this was a social call, I would have made some of my finger sandwiches. Hey, yeah, it is a very small world, yes it is. Well, uh, I don't want to get in your way here, so uh, I should go. Hey, hey, see you later, cat. Call me, huh? To make a mold, move the cursor over the indentation and select it. Check out this footprint. Notice anything odd? Like how something right there has broken up the tread pattern? Looks like he's got something stuck in his shoe. Somehow, I thought there'd be more shoes. And look here, another chunk of glass. Looks a lot like the others we found. Painting supplies and makeup on the same table? Looks like an accident waiting to happen to me.
I don't think I'd brush my teeth in the same sink I used to clean my paintbrushes. Nothing we need to collect there. Looks like a fair amount of blood in that drain. Wow, I've met junkies with cleaner apartments. Not bad. Vegas gets cold at night. It's like you said, we're friends. That a problem? Why would I visit him at work? I don't know about you, but my boss gets pissed if I socialize when I'm on the job. No, Lynn wasn't staying here. Who told you that? I have no idea where she was staying. Well, let me guess. This is my apartment, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's mine. How's that? Look, I'm not the only one who comes to my apartment, all right? Anybody could have dragged a piece of glass in. I didn't put it there.
You still here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Just, uh, I'm just thinking, you know, what, what a thing to see. You guys must be used to it, though, huh? evidence? Like Kathy Bird isn't telling us everything. I'll have the judge issue the warrant. All right, Miss Bird. We know you were at Aurelia's last night. Why don't you tell us what happened? I already told you. I worked late at Pleasure City, and then I went straight home. But somehow your DNA took a detour to the Cuban suite? Strange. Perhaps you'd care to try again. Once more. With feeling? Geez, all right, I was there. I just didn't want the hassle from you guys, but... Whatever. Look, I'm not supposed to dance for customers outside the club. It's a strict policy. My boss will fire me when he finds out. But this Dominguez guy had a lot of cash, because he sold his car or truck or something, and he's leaving his wife, yada, yada, yada. You don't need to spare us the details. Lynn and I agreed to give the guy a two-girl show at the hotel, but the guy ran out of money. So I was like, Lynn, let's bounce. But she started to have a thing for the guy. I don't know. I just wanted to get the hell out of there, so I went home. That's the God's honest truth. Why do you need that? Shouldn't you be looking for the killer? This is a total waste of time. Lynn was still with that guy when I took off. I left before he slashed her. Me? I'm not the one you should be talking to. I never even touched that ashtray. Like I said, I left before he slashed her. explain Lynn's blood in your shower. You guys are reaching here. I'm not even a lawyer and I could say, well, she cut herself. Or it was that time of the month. Or you guys planted evidence. Pick any one of those, why don't you?
Yeah. Okay, meet me in interrogation. When I left, she was still alive and well. How do you explain the glass shard in your room? Look, I'm not the only one who comes to my apartment, all right? Anybody could have dragged a piece of glass in. I didn't put it there. All right, cut the attitude. You've done nothing but lie to us from word one. So I think the district attorney is going to want to throw in a couple of obstruction charges on top of first-degree murder. You're at the hotel, and you cleaned Lynn's blood off you when you got home. You thought if you just washed it down the drain, no one would know the difference. You probably didn't realize you still had a piece of the murder weapon on your clothes. Well, welcome to the wonderful world of forensic science, lady. I really hope you enjoy the rest of your life in prison. Wait, wait! I was... Uh, I was there when Lynn was killed, but, but I swear to God it wasn't me. It was Charlie. Charlie killed her. And he said he'd kill me too if I told anyone. Okay. So we're partying. But then this Dominguez guy, like I told you, he totally runs out of cash. And I'm like, party's over, dude. And you know, I say, Lynn, let's get out of here. But dude's not taking last call for an answer and he starts getting rough, you know? And we get into it. Then Charlie comes running in and he, he hits the guy in the head with a damn ashtray, totally knocks him out. Now, I know Charlie because I've been to the suites a few times before, but maybe he was high or something because he started yelling at me and Lynn. He wanted all her cash and drugs and booze, and I mean, he even tried to take her purses. Let me guess. Lynn didn't want to give up her purse. That's right. I gave up mine, but Lynn wouldn't. Charlie went crazy. He picked up a chunk from that broken ash training. Oh, my God. I loved Lynn. She was my friend. She didn't deserve that. So when you called the police, oh, wait, that's right, you didn't call the police. Charlie said he'd kill me if I went to the cops. He said I'd get it worse than Lynn, and then he told me he'd cover for both of us. He'd just make it look like the Dominguez guy did it. Here, my cell phone. He left me a voicemail. Listen to it yourself if you don't believe me. Some audio samples don't have any relevant parts to isolate. These will generally be used as reference data against which other samples can be matched. To listen to the sample, press the play button on the right. Hey, Kat. I'm calling because, well, because you, you and I both know what happened last night was no accident, right? So I just want you to know you better keep your promise, all right? That way, I keep mine, and we're cool. Okay? Okay. That's it. What do you think? It sounds like a threat, but I just have a hard time imagining Charlie really intimidating Kathy. I would think, if anything, it would be the other way around, but I suppose anything's possible. Let's see what Brass thinks. Hey, what evidence do we have?
Well, appearances might be deceiving, but that sounds like Charlie Steer has something to confess. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Steer, we heard the message you left on Kathy Bird's cell phone. Oh, you gotta be kidding. She, she played it for you, didn't she? Damn it! Well, if it's any consolation, our threat seemed a little more convincing than yours. W what did she tell you? Something about how badly you needed a purse, and how you stabbed Lynn Bowder in the throat to get one. What?! You don't look like much, Charlie. So I get it. After you left the voicemail, you wanted to make absolutely sure Kathy understood you weren't playing games. So you paid her a little visit. You know, it's just bad luck that we were there at the apartment when you did. No! Look, look, you got it all wrong, man! I didn't kill that girl! Cat killed her! It's your classic he said, she said. Yeah, but Cat called me to the room, man! That's how it went down! And, and that blonde chick, I mean, she was already lying there in the bed. She was dead when I walked in there, man. You gotta believe me. Manipulating evidence isn't usually what you want to do if you're innocent. What are you talking about? I didn't clean up the crime scene. I just wanted to talk to her. Jeez. But she blows me off, then you guys show up. I step right in the mud. My what? You know, your limos, your kicks. Isn't that what the kids are calling them these days? Hand them over, Charlie. Oh, you gotta be. Okay, fine. Kathy said you were pretty proficient with that hunk of glass. I never touched it. Never. I, not last night and not the whole time I've worked there. Cat, she was the one that used the ashtray. What are you talking about? I didn't clean up the crime scene.
Kent proves Kathy Bird handled the murder weapon. We got her. What are you talking about? I didn't clean up the crime scene. I'd say you cleaned up to make yourself look less guilty. No, no way. That, that's not how it happened. I, I did help clean up, but Cat killed that blonde! So instead of calling the cops, you helped her cover up a murder? Why should we believe that? Ah, oh, cuz... Because I love her, man, okay? It's it's crazy, I know. Cat comes to the hotel all the time with all kinds of dudes, and we have this kind of, well, uh, arrangement. I give her the room off the books, and she kicks me back some cash from her dates. Sometimes she even gives me, well, you know, like I said, we have an arrangement, man. So that's why Dominguez didn't have to register? <sighs> yeah, I'll admit it. I, I, I confess, I stole from the hotel. Great, but... I swear on my grandmother's grave, I did not kill that chick! I'll take a lie detector, I'll do whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? If you love Kathy enough to cover up a murder for her, why threaten her? Oh, it's pathetic, right? I'm in love with her, and she just laughs at me, man. But, but, but what can I do? Last night she calls me, right? And she says she needs me. I go in the room, and... Oh my god, all that blood! And Kat's standing there, right? And she's just a mess! Completely helpless! And I get to be her Superman! I mean, who wouldn't want that job, right? I could save her. I, I say I'll, I'll clean up. I'll, I'll clean it all up. I'll pretend I never saw her, and, and I'll make it kind of look like the Mexican did it, you know? So she says, what would I do without you? You see, the deal was, we'd cover for each other, okay? But, but I always knew. I knew she wouldn't keep her word. In the back of my mind, I knew. You know what I'm saying? That's why I called her. That's why I showed up at her place. I knew. I knew she'd never keep her word. I, I was I was just hoping. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I took it and, and I tried to use it. D damn. I needed to get high to try to forget the whole thing, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I know that this Lynn chick, I guess when she came to town, I didn't see Cat for a while. Then, like, out of nowhere, man, I, I, I see Cat with this chick and this Mexican dude at the hotel, and it's, you know, it's like the normal routine. And she says, hey, Charlie, give him the special. Yeah? Okay, meet me in interrogation. Yeah, really? Well, that's what I told you. He killed her and then he covered it up. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to charge him with Lynn's murder. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You have no proof. I never touched that ashtray. Because your fingerprint is on the murder weapon, Kathy, you killed Lynn. I just wish we could go back. Two years ago, Lynn and I were together. 
I loved her so much, and I know it wasn't easy for her to be open about us, but I could never understand why she left me for that idiot. I mean, she even married the guy, and then he ships off to the Middle East for forever, and she can't take it anymore, so she comes back here. I was just hoping we could be together again, that's all. Yeah, but it didn't work out that way. No, but she said that's what she wanted. She wanted us to get back together again, and then she changed her mind again. Suddenly, she didn't want to be with me. She wanted to go home. She wanted to wait for her husband to come home. She said she wasn't being fair to him. Wasn't being fair to him. What about me? You wanted to pick things up where you left off? Living together, working together? Is that why you two took Iron Domingos to the fantasy suites? Yeah. I convinced her to come out. I even got her the wedding dress. It was stupid, but that dress was real, you know? I wanted her to wear it when we got married. So you two danced for Dominguez and then he runs out of money, right? Yeah, and when I tried to kick his ass out, he got pissed and tried to take Lynn. I tried to stop him. The guy was short but strong. He threw me across the room. I got up and I hit him with the ashtray. It shattered all over the place, but I knocked him out. You saved her. She looked so fragile, so helpless, lying there on the bed. I told her I would always protect her. I would always take care of her, and... And I reached out to her to take her into my arms. She pushed me away. She pushed me away. And I don't know why, but I... I couldn't take it. I, I just couldn't. She was so cold. How could she? She broke my heart. She broke my heart. Do you know what that's like? Yes. Yes, I do. It's like mourning someone who died. <laughs> oh, Lynn, why? DA is filing a second degree murder charge against Kathy Bird. Charles Steer is going to be charged with accessory after the fact. Good job on this one. I gotta say, this one really belongs to you. Great work. We're lucky to have you on the team.